Hello and welcome to Don't Freak Out, quick videos on the kids' health we don't talk about. I'm Dr. Courtney Rowe, a pediatric urologist at Connecticut Children's, and today we're talking about undescended testicles. Now when I say testicles, I mean the balls, or the cojones, or the nuts, or the family jewels. And when I say undescended, I mean that they're not down in the bottom of the scrotum. A little background, when baby boys are in utero. In utero is when a baby is in their mom's stomach. The testicles are actually high up near the kidneys. But testicles like to be cool to stay healthy, so down they go into the scrotum. A testicle that stays too high for too long can have a little trouble with making as much sperm or testosterone as a testicle in the scrotum. It's also just a little bit more likely to have a very rare cancer called testicular cancer. Don't worry, boys only need one testicle to have a baby and go through puberty. We expect testicles to drop down into the scrotum by about 6 to 12 months of age. And it's super common for boys to be born with one testicle up too high. As many as three in 100 newborn baby boys and as many as three in 10 premature baby boys. More than half of boys born with a testicle too high will have that testicle calm down on its own without needing any help from a doctor. But if your pediatrician can't find that testicle by about six months of age, they may have you see a pediatric urologist to talk about a quick day surgery to free up the testicle and bring it down into the base of the scrotum to keep it healthy. Hope that answers all your questions about undescended testicles. This video is meant to be educational and is not medical advice, so go see your pediatrician or your pediatric urologist with specific questions about your child. And as always, don't freak out, it's just undescended testicles.